Jamie, first let's count with granola bars. Can you show me two plus three? Yeah. Okay, so that is two granola bars. That is three granola bars. If you add them together, how many granola bars? You want to count? One, two, three, four, five. Can you show me two sets of three? Do you know what a set is? What? This is one set of three. And this is one set of three. So when you make a set of something, you're grouping it together, okay? It's like a group. Does that make sense? Yes. A group is a set. So, Ilea, when you see these two sets of three, how many in total are there in two sets of three? Six. That's right. Another way of saying two sets of three is two times three. So, Jamie, if two sets, that's one and two, of three each, granola bars is a total of six granola bars. What does that mean two times three is? Mm. Two times three is also six. Okay, where's two times three, Jamie? Two times three is six. Punch in the six. That's the answer. You can look up on the table. Two times three is six, but what it means is two sets of three. Now, Jamie, you notice that two times three is six, but you also notice that three times two is six. And that's because it doesn't matter what order you multiply them in, it's the same answer either way. So do you guys want to pick a number to multiply? Yeah. Show me what it is. Okay. All right, Jamie, you want to go first or Ilea, you want to go first? Me. Column is the nines column multiplied by 11 in the rows equals 99. So if you want to memorize this table, so that you have it all by heart, you'll know nine times 11 is what, Jamie? 99. That's right. Elena, do you have an example for us? Oh, 50, which is the column is the tens column, the row is the fives column, and so five times 10 equals 50. 